Now, the fact is that there are a lot of players in this space. We have traditional players and then we have players that were born in the cloud native world. How do you compete with some of these players like Test and VM? Yeah, look, backup is a sticky market and, and there is a huge incumbency advantage. Um, so if you're already the provider providing backups, uh, you you are already in a position of strength. Um, so any new workload, the first choice is going to be, is my current backup provider able to solve the same problems? So I get that, right? Um, but traditional workloads, traditional applications, and traditional architectures really suffer uh, when you put them and, and make them operate in the world of Kubernetes as well as, as cloud-native workloads, right? If you are not cloud native to be able to deal with cloud scale, cloud security, cloud performance, um, these workloads come in and out all the time. Uh, and these are not something that the traditional applications do a really great job of, uh, of thriving at. Uh, your uh, com walls and the semantics of the world are really, really good at protecting your servers, Linux server and a Windows server. That's just always there. Right? But in Kubernetes world, you have containers coming up and down all the time. Um, and, and that means you need to have a level of native integration to be able to understand that workload. You can't size an appliance because you could be running a lot of uh, uh, data sets at some point and nothing the other time. So you need to be able to scale alongside uh, uh, these workloads. Um, and there are certainly solutions in Kubernetes ecosystem that are uh, built for Kubernetes. I think you mentioned Kasten as an example, right? Um, Kasten is kind of early on in this marketplace and certainly a pioneer in this, in this ecosystem, but it is still not delivered as a service. It's a Kate application that runs within the Kubernetes. And the problem with such an architecture is when you are, uh, uh, when your backup system is sitting in the same cluster as your production data, uh, you lose your cluster, you lose your backup system uh, as well. And, and, and there is an opportunity in the market for us because we wouldn't want to deliver a backup as a service offering because they have, what, 40,000 partners and they wouldn't want to jeopardize the business from 40,000 MSPs and deliver a competing service. So uh, here is a world where software as a service makes sense because this new a uh, uh, user base. Uh, here is a world Kubernetes integration makes sense because the incumbents can't really deal with it. Um, so we we see a clear gap in the market uh, in, in, in why we are going full steam ahead in trying to fill that space in that marketplace. <laughs>